for shifting to the subject of cancer. Well, for the past month, you've been hearing us talk a lot about this book, Prevention is the Cure for Cancer, Five Easy Steps. And judging by your response to our offer here at TV44, we know this is a topic that is important and timely. Well, what an honor it is to have Dr. Trudy, the author of the book, here with us today. So we're going to take the next few minutes talking a little bit more about this book, which many of you have possibly in your living rooms. We're going to take a deeper look at it, and we're going to start out by talking about the book itself. Now, of course, um, there's so many health topics that exist, and this particular book is about cancer. Trudy, let's just talk about the beginning. You could have, you could have written on all kinds of subjects. There's so many health things to discuss. Why, why pick cancer? As a naturopathic doctor, I'm really concerned about the number of people that are getting cancer. Uh, each year we see more and more, and even though billions of dollars are spent on treatment, we still are seeing more people who are coming in with cancer. It's growing in such a way that the United States is ranked sixth highest in mm. countries. And with all the advances we've made in our medical community, we still do not seem to be able to stop the cancer. Mm. Statistics show that one out of every three people will have cancer within their lifetime. Wow. It's a huge problem that continues to grow. Now, um, one out of every three people, that would cause some to say it's inevitable. It's just going to happen. It's part of my genes. There's no chance to get out of it. But your book and your teachings and your, your training suggest potentially otherwise. It, that's not true. Um, you're so right. It is not inherited. The, actually, the World Health Organization indicates that 90% of all cancers are lifestyle choices. choices. Mm. The American Cancer Society clearly states that between 5 and 10% of all cancers are inherited. And what that means, Jennifer, is that you don't inherit the cancer. You inherit a mutated gene in your body with the potential mm. for cancer. It does not mean that you will get cancer. It just means that your body has a tendency toward that. There's only 5 to 10% of all <laughs> cancers. So we really do have control and can make choices that will prevent us from having cancer. So one of the key thing you've got right here calling prevention yes. is the cure for cancer. So obviously this is something that starts ahead of time. We want to work to live our lives in a way. We know that many people have been diagnosed with cancer, and that's a separate issue, and that's, that's got to be dealt with. But right. to prevent it, there are specific lifestyle changes that we can make to right. help us get there. Yes, and it's important to realize, and as the book puts out, I try to make it a really easy read. Um, it's only 100 pages. Oh, I think it is, yeah. And I it moves you right well through and helps you understand what causes cancer. And if you understand why you get cancer or how it happens, it makes it easier to prevent. And there's two reasons you get cancer. One is that your immune system is not functioning at its level, and the immune system is always built by good choices of food. Mm. And the second is that you have free radical damage. So if you put those two together, that equals cancer. So there are lots of things that we can do, but just making some healthy choices that will uh, help our bodies. Five things here that you mentioned, allow time for rest, and relaxation, avoid environmental toxins, build your immune system, do not worry, and exercise. Those are starting points, those yes. are key things that um, people will, will look into. I love the fact that you've got five key points in here, which we could spend probably the next couple hours talking about. But something else that I think is very practical is you have 30 tips 30 tips, and let's talk about, we've got 10 of those that we could focus on quickly. Yes. Um, just simple daily changes. I, I want to make it easy so everyone can understand that there's something everybody can do. And in the book, there are actually 30 tips, one for every day. So if you do one of these every day of your life, you are going to help prevent cancer. And they're all easy things. The first one is 10 almonds. Eat 10 almonds every day. They have anti-cancer properties, and they're great essential mm. fatty acids. The next one is garlic. Put some zest into your food. Uh, research shows that it, that it will prevent cancers of the digestive system. Hmm. And here's my favorite, green tea. <laughs> Three glasses of green tea every day inhibits cancer cell growth because of the antioxidants that are in them. Hmm. Smile until your face hurts. <laughs> We forget about how easy it is to smile, but endor uh, smiling makes endorphins, and endorphins boost the immune system to create more T and B cells, which are white blood wow. cells, wow. and will are natural uh, cancer killers in your body. <laughs> 
tomatoes. It's garden season. You've got your plants yes. out there. Haul those tomatoes in, slice them up, and eat them. They contain lycopene, mm. and lycopene uh, cuts the risk of cervical, lung, stomach, and prostate cancers. Prayer warrior. Here's the one we all love. Uh, we know we need to pray. This is a reason to pray more. Mm. Praying creates a state of serenity that actually slows cancer growth. Wow. So if there are cancer wow. cells growing in your body, and we all have them, then it will slow that growth just by being in that state of, of in communing with God. Wow. And that's uh, research shows that. <laughs> and then tart cherries, um, again, a good time of year to pick those cherries and eat them. They're loaded with anthocyanins, which will stop cancers. And here's another one that people um, have a hard time with. It's my white foods. <laughs> Take a break from white foods. Uh, they cause inflammation. When, what, what do you mean by white foods? White foods are flour, white flour, white sugar, white potatoes, and white rice. <laughs> and the inflammatory uh, causes uh, more free radical damage in your body. Wow. And our final one, and again, because of summer, a good tip is when you're out there grilling your meat, not to let it get burned or charred because it contains chemicals that causes the DNA uh, to change and increases the chance of cancer. Wow, so that's just 10 of the 30 daily suggestions that Dr. Trudy has in this book. Well, due to its popularity for the many of you that have been um, writing into us saying that you're really interested in it, we are extending our summer thank you offer through the month of July. For any donation to TV44, $100 or more, we will send you a copy of Dr. Trudy's book. Simply mention your interest in receiving the book at the time of your donation.